Hello everyone, welcome back to tech2.com. In this lecture, we will understand what is conflict equivalence. Two schedules S1 and S2 are called conflict equivalent when they have same order of conflicting operations. So two schedules, of course, when we are talking about equivalence, we are comparing two schedules. Okay. So two schedules are said to be conflict, conflict equivalent if the order of any two conflicting operations okay so operations will be conflicting of course and it will be two so if the order of any two conflicting operation is same in both the schedules okay so we already know what are conflicting operations so what are conflicting operations conflicting operations i mean two operations to be conflicting what are the conditions the first condition is that it should belong to two different transaction right the second one is that they should be acting or they should be working or acting over same database item or variable okay so if both are accessing let's say a variable x and the final is third condition is that at least one of the operations should be right okay fine So two operations will be conflicting operation if they belong to different transaction they are working over or they are using the same data database item x and they are at least one of the operation is right operation okay so what are the conflicting operation we have in that case we have read write write read write read and we have write write okay read and read is not conflicting right okay now when we have same order of conflicting operations in two schedules then we say that these two schedules are conflict equivalent okay so let's see an example in this example we have been given two schedules okay and we have to check whether they are conflict equivalent so as i said it will be conflict equivalent if the conflicting operations are in same order okay so now let's find out what is the conflicting operation in schedule s1 so you can see that we have one right operation okay and this is variable x this is variable x and of course they are from different transaction 1 and 2 so these two operations will be conflicting operations right it is satisfying our all conditions that is they belong to different transactions they are acting on same variable and at least one operation that is this operation is right operation nice so here we have this conflicting operation now in s2 we have to find out conflicting operation <coughs> so of course read read is not conflicting so you can see that this one is conflicting operation fine now you can see that if the conflicting operation that is read write we have okay that is r1 and w1 here r1 and w2 in s1 if the conflicting operation is r1 w2 then in s2 also we have the order of conflicting operation as r1 w2 right if it was changed and let's say if it was something like this that is that is r1 y and then this is w2 x and this is r1 x in that case you can see that the these are of course in this case also these are conflicting operations okay order doesn't matter while checking conflicting operation okay but now as the order has been changed these two schedules will not be conflict equivalent okay because the order of conflicting operations has been changed here the order of conflicting operation is write followed by read that is read write but here it is write read so this will not be a con conflict equivalent schedule okay 
but here you can see that schedule S1 and S2 that is this schedule and this schedule S1 and S2 are conflict equivalent right so this is the concept of conflict equivalent